Hello, I'm Meli for edu for java and this is tutorial number 12 where we are going to take a look at the words public, private and the um, concept of java beams. We are going to take a look at the class doc as we had left it in the last tutorial. The only thing I've changed is that in the last tutorial we call these variables object variables if you remember and now I'm calling them instance variables because they're best known with this name these variables are um, stuck to the instance of the object which is created from the doc class as you can see all these variables have the word public as well as the method None of them are static. We have already said that both the variables and the method are stuck to the instance, not the class. And that in the main program, we could get to the variables to this instruction here. Dog one dot and the variable we want to get to. In this case, wait. And the same with the method. Dog one dot print to console. With this instruction, we access to the method. We call the method. In this case, we don't have parameters to send, so it, it's empty in between the parentheses. We always put these two brackets when we print the method. And in this case, it's going to be empty because we don't have parameters. OK, what happens if here, instead of public, we write the word private? This means that we can only get to this variable name from inside this class. If we save here and we go to tutorial 12, we see errors in the main program. We can see that I'm trying to get to the variable name directly and this is not possible from the moment I write here private. We can't get to it from the outside, so we are not going to be able to get to that variable from another class, in this case tutorial 12. Notice that we can get to this variable from this method here, because this method is inside the definition of the, of the class. This method is stuck to the object, to the instance, just like the variables. OK, with this I think the um, definition of private and public is clear. Notice that the word private is used for both variables and methods. We could write here private also. For this example, we're going to leave it in public. Let's take a look now at the Java Beans concept. Sun Microsystem, the company which created Java, gave a definition for Java Beans. Java Beans are reusable software components for Java that can be manipulated visually in a builder tool. They define the standard name Java Beans. When they defined it, I suppose the idea was to use it with a builder tool. But this standard Java Beans is used globally. What does this standard say? Let's explain it a bit. To keep data, we are going to use Beans. Beans are said to be classes just like this one, just like doc, in which each of the internal data is called a property. These properties are not going to be able to get directly from outside as we had done before with the word public. They will always be private. If we've got a Java bean, these properties, these variables are called properties and they are always going to be private. The access to these properties from outside, from this the, um, class, for example, tutorial 12, will be through methods. These methods will have a special name. If we, for example, want to get to the property here name, we will use the method getName. To write in this property, we're going to need another method called setName. So here we're going to write setName and inside we're going to set whatever we want 
the name to be inside. This will be correct, but we have an error because for this we have to create the method set name. So we go to the doc class and um, we can notice that this standard of getters and setters is so common that Eclipse has an option. If you right button on the mouse, source, and here we have generate getters and setters. We can see we can choose uh, the getters and setters whichever we want for color, name, weight or all of them. Okay, let's generate getters and setters for name. Okay, as we can see generates two methods, a get name and a set name. To read the, ne the name we call the method get name and it returns a name which will be a string and to update the name we call the method set name, passing the name we want as a parameter. We now go to the method main of the class tutorial 12 and we can see that the error has disappeared. Okay, let's go back to the class doc and we're going to generate all of the getters and setters. Here we are. We have now generated all the getters and setters. We save and we go back to tutorial 12. And we do the same with color. I'm going to copy it from the page so we are quicker. It's just the same, but oops, with all of them, set names, set colors, set weights, and in doc2, set names, set colors, set weight, and each of the data we wanted to put inside. In the method, we can see there's um, error too. We have the same problem. If I went, want to get to the property name, I have to write get name in this case the same there we are okay for this example we're going to use the instance method so we comment these lines here and we comment uncomment this we run the main method and we can see that everything is just okay with the getters and setters okay let's go back to the class dog you can see that the getters and setters are um, public methods which protect the variables from getting into them from the outside. It is important you know that the getters and setters are a standard, not an obligation. You can access directly the variables if you want and you can use this or you can get to the variables directly as before. The getters and setters are more a concept than something syntactic. Here in the method print to console of the class, um, we could enter the variable through a get name if we want. We could do, or we can do just this dot color as before. Both ways are correct. Some people say that when you are in the same class you don't have to protect the instance variable and some people say you have to. So just learn that there are two possibilities. Okay, uh, with this I think we know what private and public do and what Java Beans means and the reason we work with getters and setters. So with this we finish this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye!